Heather, hello. Oh, good morning. But Heather, how do you always mo- forget that? I don't know, because I'm polite. <laughs> Jason, good morning. Heather, good morning. Good morning. How do are you, you today? <laughs> I am fine. I'm tired today, mm-hmm. but I'm okay. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. My computer works. Uh, I haven't <laughs> lost any major documents. Wow. Um, my taxes wow. are almost done. So seriously, yeah, I have a pretty simple life. I don't think we've even started. I get all my stuff and I just start the thing. And it's not hard. I, yeah. Do you do TurboTax? <laughs> this ad, this no. podcast is not sponsored by TurboTax. Unfortunately, uh, man. Yeah, but if they wanted to, <laughs> we're open to it. I'm open to we're sponsorships. Open to sponsors. TurboTax. Turbo Whoa. Burger King. <laughs> I would love a Burger King sponsorship. I would. Love a Burger King sponsorship. Oh, oh my gosh. Walkers, I would be the Burger please, King under you. the mountain. <laughs> I hate that I get that joke. The the <laughs> rivers will flow with chicken fries of gold. Oh my gosh. And then like a dragon comes and they're yes. like, ah, oh, smite the dragon. And you shoot a black arrow at it and it dies. Well, so that's the summary of chapter 14. Um, (laughs) that's pretty much it. Uh, Jason, you may have caught that he said that he didn't lose any important documents. Um, because I did, I did, I, I, uh, my computer completely crashed Mm -hmm. while I was trying to get onto our zoom and, you know, silly me didn't save my summaries for chapters 14 and 15. Yeah. Um, and listener and viewer, she's already been berated enough about her I have. computer hygiene and not like auto saving. And why is she even using word? I don't know. Word's garbage. This episode is brought to you by Microsoft office. <laughs> uh, Hey, do you want to be frustrated and not be productive? Microsoft office back to you, Heather. <laughs> cool. Cool. Thank you, Jason. I'm really glad that we took that sponsor break. Um, Anyway, so my summaries are gone. So here is a quick summary of chapters 14 and 15. Heather, before we get into the summary, oh, okay. you asked me how I'm doing. I didn't get a chance to ask you how you're doing. Oh. And I don't want to be thought of as rude. I just want to be rude. So go back to your summary. <laughs> <laughs> no. How are you? Other I'm than not the- in the best state. We'll just put it, we'll leave it at that <laughs> and uh, keep moving forward. <laughs> I mean, you do live in Oklahoma. We already knew that. Hey. hey. So, yeah, Washington is the best state. Jason and I were talking about our, our favorite places. Well, maybe just more my favorite places. Um, yeah, you didn't I told ask him, all my favorite places. I didn't because you've been to many more places than me. I don't think so. Like, you have. I have not left the North American area. I've been to the Bahamas and I've been to Canada. Mm-hmm. That's it as far as I've been as, to a like, lot more places than countries. you, I guess. Exactly. I've been I've to been... almost every continent. So you've just not been to Australia and Antarctica. And Antarctica. Yeah. You've been to Africa? Yeah. I yeah, went to you Egypt. went to Egypt. That's right. A lot of people forget that's Africa. Like yeah. Most of the fam most of my family. Sorry, I no that lives forgot. in my house. <laughs> the oh. other three people. <laughs> oh my so. gosh, amazing! Anyway, I love San Francisco, Las Vegas, New York. I love those cities. Um, mm-hmm. We both agree that Chicago is also great. Yeah, and we met famous family members of football players. <laughs> yes, yes, so, I have met Richard Sherman's mom. Yeah, I met Ken Walker the Third's aunt. At a yes. sports bar in Chicago while watching the Seahawks game. Perfect. And one time while I was walking in a downtown Kirkland with mom and dad, we walked past Mike Holmgren. No way. One and time, one time while I was driving in Bellevue, I drove past Detlef Shrimp, who was walking on the sidewalk unbothered by all of these people. Like they just didn't even know who they he didn't was. know. It was like, that's Detlef Shrimp, dummies. Anyway. That's so crazy. You walked uh, by Mike Holmgren? Yeah. And I was what, with mom and dad. I didn't say anything. Dad just goes, coach. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> That's amazing. That's the perfect painful. response. That's the, yeah. so great. Coach. Coach. And oh, and so funny. One of the many times that mom, you know, made me get my hair permed when I was in elementary school before I could say no. 
Yeah. Um, we were getting our hair done at like the salon up on Rose Hill that was right by like across the street from the psychic. Yeah. And yeah. palm reader. You know mm-hmm, what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, and uh, Don James's wife came in. Wow. And mom was like, <laughs> how did she know that was Don James's wife? I don't know. That's so I don't funny. know. But like that's she funny. was starstruck. Wow. Oh, that's a, that's just, a, Don James's wife. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, wow. The dog <laughs> so, father's wife. Yeah. What would that be? Like the pound mommy? I don't know. That doesn't, nope. Nope. We're good. Anyway. <laughs> that was weird what you said. <laughs> I hey, I don't like it. Hey, have you ever, like, I know you probably never have gone to a psychic, but you've been, you've walked by a psychic's, yeah, like, layer. I don't know what they call yeah. it. Yeah. Um, office. Is it an office? Like, or, is it like a tech? Like, anyway, abode. Their 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 place of sorcery. Uh, they have office hours. Yeah. On the like, shouldn't it just have like names? Like, they oh could, they, gosh. if they are real psychics, that's like, hey, two thirty, Mike. Don <laughs> <laughs> James's wife. No, I, I, just, like, just they should just say like, I know who's coming. This is when yeah. I'm open. When I know people are going to be here. Why would they need office hours? The door should just open, like when people. Well, come. that. But then, like you're expecting them to work all of the time. And look, look, I also have a job dealing with spiritual realities, and I feel like I'm always on. So, one of us is committed to this thing. It's like the it's other, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> I, I have a I have a sense that somebody is gonna be offended by this. <laughs> uh I think so. I yeah. Think anyway. So. Anyway. Wow. Uh, one time I went to I was driving, uh, this is a true story. Everything I've told you so far is true. We haven't talked about the hobby yet. One time I was driving no. and I saw a psychic convention, like a sign, psychic convention. Yeah. And that same kind of thing. Like, do they like put out ads for that or they just say like you're coming to this? <laughs> I would what would you okay. even do at a psychic convention? Here's how you rip other people off. So chapters 14 and 15. <laughs> I don't know, Jason. How to make it how to make believable guesses for lottery numbers that people should play. <laughs> this episode oh, brought Lord. to you by psychics. <laughs> they they knew I was gonna say that. <laughs> Back to you, Heather. You frequently <laughs> remind me of Chandler when he was starting to like get into marketing. Like I am unfamiliar with uh, um, much of friends. I've watched yeah. a lot of it and then I got busy being a, in a rock band. So, Oh, we should have cool. a whole podcast about that. <laughs> I was thinking uh, about that. I was like, oh, that would be fun to do a podcast with everybody who was in salt. <laughs> hey, <yep. laughs> Do you ever like just not bring it up with people too? <laughs> people say, "Hey, what's something cool about your past?" Like, you don't don't, don't bring up, it. Don't oh. bring up the Christian pop don't punk talk band. About it. <laughs> pop punk. Oh I don't my know. Gosh. Sometimes I don't know what we were. People are like, "What do you sound like?" Uh, have you ever dropped a bunch of garbage? <laughs> oh you were all very talented folks um that is inaccurate darren and brian were very talented and john was pretty good and troy john? and chris were pretty good you don't think you were very talented i think i learned how to play guitar in the band <laughs> so huh. i i'm uh, uh yeah no people like can you do you a solo it? i did it uh and people were like could you do a solo here I was like probably not <laughs> I was um, the lead no. guitar player. Uh, no, but cap- thanks. Uh, I'll pass. How about yeah. I just play the chords louder? Let's let Chris take that one. <laughs> why, Chris, why don't you scat over that? <laughs> Perfect. Nailed it. Oh, man. Okay. Remember this book that we were reading? Yeah. I'm just vamping because you lost all your notes. I lost all my notes, guys. <laughs> and I, I had some real... I was some, proud of moments. In some there. real zingers. Yes. Speaking of zingers. Zing to you. Um, Memphis is becoming a mini Jocelyn at, in like her timing oh, and perfect. zingers. 
And nice. I, we went to dinner last night and Memphis, somebody was saying like, or Hendrix was like, well, Memphis, how do you get to school if all of these like roads are closed? Cause there's just construction everywhere. Do we go to two different right schools now? now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, uh, we just started, you know, saying she walks and Jeremy, you know, he's the classic dad line uphill both ways barefoot in the snow blah 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 Mm -hmm. or he said barefoot and I said in the snow and Memphis just goes it was cold (laughs) (laughs) which was perfect and then there was uh I can't remember the other thing that she said but we all just like died and I was thinking like oh this is a total Jocelyn moment like oh it's gonna drive me crazy I'll have to I'll have to rack my brain along with uh you know my notes or these chapters try to find what I was going to say, but yeah. anyway. All right. So well, why don't you give us some summaries mm-hmm. real quick? Yes. Chapters 14 and 15. Yes. As a reminder, uh, Smaug had taken off he from left. his, his lair right. and all of his gold. Um, and the dwarves and Bilbo were like, huh, he's gone. Mm-hmm. Where is he? For days. Um, for days, they couldn't find him. Uh, and so, chapter fourteen. I didn't. What like did that. you not? I did not you like didn't what like you it? just did. That was not pleasant. I'm very sorry. Okay, so they're gone for days. Said like a normal person. Smaug is gone for yeah. days. Yeah, and they're in the they're in the dragon's keep. The tunnel. Yeah. The dragon's keep. What is that? This is where the dragon lives. He keeps all his stuff there. It's like a moo <laughs> point. It's what a cow says. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Have I just been living with him too long or does that make sense? Um. Anyway, so chapter 14, we go to the lake men of Eskaroth. I said the title. I said it yeah, right. I'm very okay, proud of good. you. Anyway, um, and they also like, you know, couldn't see the mountain. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden they see the mountain because like there's light on it and they're like, oh, they're carrying under the mountain and it's waking up and working with gold. And then they see another like flash of brilliance and uh, everyone is, you know, singing and being like, hey, yay, things are happening. And Bard, the man with the, what did they say about him? Something about his Grim voice and his fellow face. Fellow ran Grim voice foot. fellow. Yes. And he was like, hey, ding- dinguses. It is not the king under the mountain. It is the dragon um, and tried to like warn them. And eventually they listened um, and realized, oh, darn it. The dragon's coming. Darn, um, darn it. Nuts. Um, and so they like managed to be semi, semi-prepared. Um, but Smaug was like angry at this point, even angrier. And decides to just basically like try and burn their house down and all of that. And, uh, or their village, their town, whatever. And Bard uh, is on his last arrow as he's shooting at the dragon. And a thrush comes up to him and is like, wait, wait. There's a little spot. Yeah. His upper right, uh, left arm. Right. And Bilbo saw that spot too. Bilbo saw that spot too. Yeah. And he talked, (gasps) he talked about it. Didn't he? Did he talk I about it with the dwarves remember. and the thrush was listening? I don't remember. I think he did. Or maybe the thrush can read minds. Doesn't matter. Um, but Do you he think told... the thrush is Charles Xavier from the oh X-Men? Gosh. Wouldn't it be great if Mind James McAvoy blown. voiced the thrush in the movies? <laughs> Does he? No. Oh. I don't remember the, the bird talking at all, actually, in the movies. Because there's two different birds that talk right. in this book. Yeah. So, this one and the, Croc? the raven. Yeah. Croc? Anyway. Croc? Yeah. Griffin. So Bard. Doesn't matter. Bard. Bard, Bard takes the, spot. the black arrow. The black arrow that and, he saved all these years. Yes. And, you know, gives it a pep talk. And it's like, hey, hit this guy. And he does. Mm-hmm. And smiles. Well, this like, is what he says to the arrow. Can I read it? Do yes, you have please. any notes? I'm trying to help. Thanks. Uh, I had you from my father and he from of old. So here's my question. Who's that? Uh, who, I hate everything about who you choose to be. Who's of old? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
gosh. Okay. If you ever came from the forges of the true king under the mountain, go now and speed well. And he shoots the arrow. And it hits yes. Smaug. Sh- the Smaug shot spouting into the air. Right, can you read? <laughs> no, the Smaug shot spouting into the air, turned over and crashed down from on high in ruin. Yeah, so good. I love how Smaug is like this big bad. And but just a tiny little it. arrow yeah. takes him out. Yeah. 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 There's a there's a Look sermon. Here. Ooh, yes, I think there is. Anyway. Put on the full um, armor of God. Don't be like that dumb dragon. Don't forget the belt. Because that's a tender area that you could get shot in and dragon it. Uh, anyway, how big um, are your belts? <laughs> we, I do live in the south, so that's true. Modest is yeah. hottest. That's right. <laughs> anyway, um, so then they're all like, "Yay, Smaug is dead!" And the master comes back and is like, "I did this. Like, I'm a good, per- I'm a good person." He reminds me a lot of the master in Ragnarok. That like he like the game I master. Don't know. Yeah, the Jim, like Jeff Goldblum's Jeff character. Goldblum's, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I just like that's who I'm vision- envisioning, having never yeah. watched the movies. The anyway. movie is he's played by Stephen Fry. You know oh, like is. the from, tall guy. Yeah, that like from The Office. No, that's no from. Stephen Fry is a British guy. You're really close. Yeah. You're thinking Stephen Merchant. Oh, uh, okay. Stephen Fry is a. Uh, part of a comedy duo called from Fry and Lori with Hugh Laurie, Dr. House. Dr. House. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Stephen Fry is just or like Or Stuart Little's adopted dad. I prefer not to think about that because um, I've never seen it. Uh, but the, oh. yeah, so it's not at all like Jeff Goldblum. So. Okay. You're thinking wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, the townspeople are like, we want King Bard, not you. Yeah. And the master is like, oh, but no, like, I'm a great person and I should be yeah. your ruler still. Um, anyway. But he also and- points, it doesn't like just say like, Barden didn't do this. This wouldn't have happened at all if it wasn't for those dumb dwarves. Right. He tries to, that's what we're getting. Oh, tries I to just place don't know. Blame. You don't have a summary. I <laughs> tries to place blame on the dwarves. And it, like, there was a, a mention of gold and that made bard be like hey we don't need to argue about this right now because he was thinking ah i could go get said treasure and help rebuild right esgroth right and because he killed the dragon right yeah yeah um and then they you know like sent word up to the elven king to like join forces blah blah blah, etc yeah the elven king was on his way right no. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. You're right. Sorry. I wrote a summary. I just don't have it. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, that's that's the gist of chapter fourteen. Yeah, fire and water. Yes. So then, chapter fifteen. So the elves, up- the elves, and the men are making an alliance. Yes. This is important. Heading their way toward to the mountain. The mountain. So to in a take moment, all in, the gold. Well, to get what they think is theirs. Right. They're Everybody trying, thinks it's all theirs. Well, they don't think it's Portions all theirs. Portions of, it, of yeah. it is theirs. They, they believe they deserve a percentage. Yes. A 12. The, yeah. The the men, the people of Lake Town, have a decent claim. The elves have no claim. They did nothing. That right? is true. They're and they were turds out. to the dwarves yes. when the dwarves like needed help, they imprisoned them. And that's part of what happens in the next chapter. Tell us about that. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, so I'm we just go back to keep things moving, Heather. I know. Yeah. We go back to Bilbo and the dwarves. Um, and Thorin's like, mm, something's afoot. There's a ton of birds in the air. Yeah. Something feels weird. Mm-hmm. And um Bilbo sees the thrush again. And it, it tries to like talk to them and it, you know, Thorin, I think is like, I think it's trying or Balin maybe is trying to say something to us, but they don't speak thrush. 
they can't understand this thrush. Yeah. And Balin's like, I wish it was the old raven. Yeah. I do like yeah. that uh, Balin is like, do you know what it's saying, Bilbo? Why would Bilbo know? <laughs> because Bilbo has surprised them. I guess. That, time yeah, and I time guess that's again. It. I mean, Bilbo was the one who understood the knocking on the door. Right. But, I mean, but... the person wasn't trying to talk at that point, was it? No. It wasn't trying to talk, but it was try- still trying to communicate with them. Yeah, that's true. Just without the <laughs> sound that a thrush would maybe make. I don't know. Um Anyway, uh, so the thrush ends up flying away and eventually comes back with an Ancient of Days crow or raven um, that tells them, you know, hey, all these people are coming. Y'all better gird your loins. And uh, Thorin is like, bah humbug. They're not going to take what they think is theirs. Send word to my cousin Dane up in some other place and tell him to come quick. And uh, so it's like, okay, but in an old man voice, okay. Um, I listened to the Andy Circus version yeah, this morning. I did too. And he did, he did a great, he's, he's so good. Also, I used one of our Audible credits. This podcast is brought to you by Audible uh, to buy the Fellowship of the Ring. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's such happening. a nerd. Okay. It's happening. I hate everything about myself right this now. Is interesting. I don't. This is interesting. Um, okay, so then the they hear that people are coming. Um, and so they are like, we gotta go close up that front gate. And so they do that, but they also hear that like their ponies and stuff are had been spotted, three of mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. And so Killy and Philly go and get the ponies and some of their other like stores and everything and bring them back after four days, I think. And um, in that time, they made like a pretty sizable wall to block up the gate. And they also made like a giant pool so people couldn't get to the gate unless yeah. they went in through the water, right. which also meant they couldn't let their ponies in either. So they had to take all their stuff and then say bye bye be wild again or go back to Bayorn or whomever. These, these ponies are the, lake the lake town ponies. Yeah. yeah, that's right. These ponies are not the lake people. Right. They belong the lake, to the, the lake, lake people. The lake people are the lake people. They were property of the lake people. So yeah. go back. They had a, they had a, uh, like a sweatshirt that said that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> XXL. <laughs> yeah. Property of lake people gym. <laughs> Yes, I like it. Um, and Just then so you know, a thrush makes a, their song consists of l- slow, long whistles. So like. Okay. I can't hear anything. You can't Are you hear actually that? whistling? No. I was whistling. You, nope, you don't hear nothing. that? <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, interesting. Zoom must filter out. Can you hear that? No. Did you hear my whistle? No. <gasps> Weird. I'm gonna whistle through every meeting I have in the next week and see if anybody can <laughs> hear it. Just like, <laughs> like Heather, are you okay? It's like I don't care. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh wow. Yeah. I've been trying anyway. to make noises, and so like when I breathe like this, do you hear that? No. Oh, that's so funny. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> No, but I saw that. That was amazing. <laughs> What's up, Popeye? <laughs> hey, g- 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 <laughs> on the side of my head. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Anyway, um, so then like all of the elves and the lake people get up to the mountain and they like they see the wall and they're just like, hmm, gotta gotta replan. And so they kind of go back a little bit to their camp and they start like singing and having fun. And Bilbo's like, man, I wish I could join them. And they find some harps uh, inside the dragon's keep and uh, start playing some harps or yeah, singing some songs that make Thorin happier. But they, they start singing because the elves and the men are singing and playing songs. You can say that. So oh. it's kind of like a battle of the band situation. Oh my gosh, which you also know about. I was in a, I don't know if you know this, but I was in a Christian pop rock band in the 1990s. Early I thought it 2000s. was pop punk. We didn't know what we were. I mean, it, right. 
Ask Chuck. Contemporary. Um, <laughs> distinguished gentleman. <laughs> I was not in distinguished gentleman. I know. <laughs> That's not. I was. Not, I was not in a boy band. We were all boys and in a band, but it was not a boy band. Um, right. Right. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, so it was a battle of the bands between the elves and the men and the dwarves. Yeah. Yeah. So, and they went down to the peach pit, and they were like, "Listen, Kelly Kapowski, this is how I'm going to win you over." That's not. That was the max. The peach pit was nine hundred two one zero. I can never remember all this. Yeah. Saved by oh, the Bell you. was the Max. The Max, right. With two yeah. X's, right? No, just one. Because it was named after Max. Hmm. The magician slash That's right. owner. Owner. Of... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if he really was a good magician. He wouldn't be owning a diner. Well, I just think a diner. he would save so much money because he could just turn anything into Water something into else. Wine. Yeah. Uh, I did see a picture, speaking of water into wine, and saw a picture of Keanu Reeves uh, at a uh, restaurant, outdoor cafe. And he had a a wine glass with wine in it, mm-hmm. but a bottle with water in it. Oh, my and gosh. The, and the caption <laughs> said, explain this, atheists. <laughs> Oh, Lord. We are derailing. I, this is what happens when I don't have notes. <laughs> yeah. And I'm very punchy from being up too late last night Me and too. up too early today. So, Me too. Yes. I'm also looking anyway. at different kinds of thrushes. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Because I want um, to know what they sound like. And uh, they're just majestic little birds. You all right? No. Did you fart over there? No. I can't, I can't hear it. Zoom well, filters that's... that out. So, I should try. And you could see if you could hear it. I'm not going to try to fart. Anyway. That's a bad um, idea. So it, they're Battle of the Banzing. And uh, Thorin's like, okay, huh, I'm happy. Um, and then Bard comes up and is like, I want a parlay. And Thorin looks through. What are you doing? I'm sharing this little red-legged thrush. Oh Look my how gosh. cute that is. That is precious. That's all. Okay. Um, listener, the thrush is just a little blackbird with like a red beak and red legs. Yeah. So there we go. Or kind of maybe like a burnt orange red. Anyway. Um, I think the guy so, that named it red legged thrush, like really missed really out because it. it, well, he's got red eyes, red beak and red legs. Oh, it should have been red appendage thrush. It's well, it should have just been like, choose what you like. That's red. <laughs> thrush <laughs> are you are you a leg guy are you a beak guy <laughs> eyes what do you like yeah. choose one choose one of those thanks anyway bard is trying to talk to thorin yeah and thorin looks through his little hidey hole in uh-huh. the wall yeah. and it's like who you <laughs> what <laughs> what you do um, <laughs> who you? what your name is <laughs> what's anyway. your name who's your daddy <laughs> <laughs> is he rich like me man that song um oh i heard that song too many times that to long stretch 97.3 kbsg uh that's, now that's cairo that radio i know yeah it's weird anyway gosh we are this is where this is good where are we going to listen to oldies now and what is oldies because nirvana I heard, is oldies yes, i heard foo fighter on classic rock and i, I was life. so mad they're still like they're still rocking though. Like, you know who else is still rocking? The Rolling the, Stones. The Rolling Stones, yeah. Who belong on classic rock? Yes. I think they should just they name started rock back in the sixties. Yeah, I think they should just name the music of our generation music, and everything else it should just be called eh. garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you can listen to it if you want to, but I mean, really, what you want to listen to is nineties Christian rock from the oh Seattle area. <laughs> I mean, but common thread, shaded just red. red. Shaded red was not okay. from Seattle. They weren't? No. They're oh. from Colorado. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Uh, but, but you had um, Circle of Squares. You had Strange Occurrence. You had Red Shoot Star. Strange. You had uh, a lot. I had Salt, a Strange um, Occurrence shirt, and I wore it on a spelling test day because I could never remember how to spell occurrence. <laughs> so, nice. Nice. I was cheat. like, mm. Cheat code. <laughs> And say I can anyway. wear my spelling words. Yeah. Let me finish I just, this. I just had mom make me a shirt that had like all the words on it. And I just put a mirror on my desk. So I could read it. 
If only. Um, I, I anyway, failed because I spelled them all backwards. Listen. So Bard is trying to negotiate. Bard is trying to be like, hey, you let us in. And uh, we take what gold. we believe is, yeah. And Thorin sees that as like, you're a thief and a foe. I'm yep. never letting you in. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, sounds uh, just like him. I thought so. And Bard's like, all right, you're lost, man. Just know, like, we're out here and we're we're going to attack. Yeah. And Thor in retreat, well, well, shoots an arrow at the they're guy not that's talking necessarily about going They're not They're not saying attack. we're going to attack, but like, hey, we're at war. Yeah, but they don't this have to it. attack because the dwarves don't have anything in there other than cram, that little bread stuff they've been eating. They have yeah. no way to eat food. And so it's like, you can eat your gold. It's a great line. Was it it is. Consider yeah. yourself besieged. That's what it was. Besieged. Um, anyway, I mean, that was pretty much it. Yeah. And at the end, uh, Bilbo is like, this whole place stinks of dragon. And it makes me sick. And cram is beginning to simply stick in my throat. Yeah. Bilbo is like willing to trade in his share to just be done with this whole thing. He really wants to go home. Yeah. Yeah. So. There you go. There's there's the the summary without my notes. You did so good. Heather, when you started this journey and I told you there's a dragon. Mm-hmm. Did you think the dragon would be vanquished like in like a paragraph? Before, yeah, in a paragraph <laughs> and like 100 pages before the end of the book. No. No. Is that I, weird? I thought it's 100 pages before the end of the book. There's a lot more book left. I, it's probably not a hundred pages, but there's still a lot more book. I don't, I don't do math. It's like forty pages. Anyway, brother. fifty anyway, pages maybe. Anyway, it, it, the number keeps growing. It doesn't matter. Like the it's power not of greed in our hearts, <laughs> which is what this book is about. How greedy you are, Heather. Uh, <laughs> it is me. I am the greedy. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so the the dragon's gone. And so He's now the, the story is taking a different turn. It's about, again, the greed. And in Heather's heart. <laughs> yes. My name does have almost all the letters of Thorin. So all of my whole name. Olsen. Okay. Thorin. Have, doesn't matter. Anyway. Why would you it's say like that? a whole Tom Marvolo <laughs> riddle thing. That's Like, I am Lord Voldemort. There, it doesn't matter. Keep I understand going. what I understand what you're trying to do. I'm yep. just letting you know. You know what? You it's didn't fine. do it. What are your thoughts about this chapter, Jason? I don't I have love any this book. questions. <laughs> I, I just love this book. I just think, like, every time I read through this, it's, I'm always like, I've read this probably like ten times now in my life, mm-hmm. and I'm always like, oh yeah, the dragon dies real early. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like the drag, like the problem is, you know. The dragon seems to be the insurmountable foe. Mm-hmm. Totally surmountable. Totally. <laughs> like there was a tiny little spot on his chest. Yeah. But why did Bard know that it was a possible like there was a weakness? A small little creature saved the day. The red legged thrush. Yes. Any, there's a, a multiple. I can Red share beans. more. Um, it could be a blue legged thrush or black. No, or... no, you're just being ridiculous. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but the um, like Bilbo for the hobbits, he's a small little, it, like insignificant creature, really. Mm, you know, I see where you're going. Here. And and so, like, when the people in power or who have some kind of strength are willing to <laughs> humble themselves and listen to the smaller creatures. Yes. We don't seem as impressive. Uh, there is an opportunity here for victory. And so the story continues on with a small little person, Bilbo, uh, carrying through in the next coming chapters, like leading to like a solution. Don't ruin it. Everybody knows this book is going to end, right? I'm saying don't, there's a solution. Don't so ruin it. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the story <laughs> for people who haven't read The Hobbit yet. Uh, but I just think it's interesting that the story isn't about the dragon. The story is about, about power. It's about greed. 
and it's about yeah like little people like tlc um the channel uh used to be the learning channel tons of little children <laughs> i called it uh yeah tons of little people and children <laughs> that's what i called it well, but little people isn't one word it's hyphenated oh it? okay nope mm. i don't know doesn't matter anyway continue this book is about greed. it's about it's about <laughs> greed and not being able to see that there's a peaceful path forward yeah. Right. And so who helps you see the path forward is the small and the insignificant. So yeah. anyway, I just, I, I just, it's a, it's a good book. And Bard here is like trying to not mm -hmm. become King. He's trying to not pursue power. He's just like, I, we just need to rebuild all that we've lost. Right. I killed the dragon for you. So can you help us? <laughs> and the elf yes, King is like, can. I like treasure. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna glom onto here to see if I can get some treasure, and I'll be with the. And Thorin's like, "This is all my junk." Yeah, this is all, none this of all it mine. is yours. Right, all the this while. Is dwarf and yes, all the while. The Arkenstone is in Bilbo's pocket. Bilbo has it, and the one thing that Thorin wants the most, Bilbo has. And so, as we continue forward, we follow the journey of the Arkenstone and. Uh, it's a, a significant thing. That... So do you think, though, if Bilbo would have just been like, hey, Thorin, baby, I got this. Could you, like, chill your bones if I gave you this and just let people have what they need? No. Or no? I think if Th if Bilbo said, I took this. Then he would have been just executed on the spot. I think Thorin would have killed him. Wow. I think Thorin is losing his mind because of the dragon sickness. Mm. So, yeah, that's what I think. Interessante. Okay. Well, that yeah. is going to cause me to reread the last few chapters differently. Yeah, I think, I don't think Bilbo knew how much Thorin lusted after the Arkenstone when he took it. Hmm. Hmm. And then he finds out, like, there's an episode of The Office where Jim transfers to Stanford, mm -hmm. right? And he puts Andy's calculator in Jello. Yes. Which is the previous prank that he played on, on Dwight. Dwight. And Dwight, Dwight got upset. <laughs> Dwight, yeah, as Jane, Jane, Jim calls it, Dwight. Dwight. Uh, the, and, you know, Dwight got upset, but Andy got to a whole nother level of upset. Yes. I need to know who put my jello and calculator or i'm gonna lose my freaking mind right your jello and calculator yeah wouldn't that be weird my calculator in <laughs> jello <laughs> and uh and so i don't i think bilbo knew thor and wanted it but he also saw it was very pretty himself and he's like oh i like yeah. this and then yeah. seeing how much thorn wanted it it was like he made that look at the camera if this was a workplace comedy like where jim just is like <laughs> close his mouth very very discreetly. And then just like looks at his, his head, computer. looks away. Yeah. <laughs> I think that is the face that Bilbo is making as Thorin goes more and more crazy. Just the camera's like zooming in on him. He's doing talking heads like, look, I didn't know. Uh, yeah. So I, I can't get rid of this now. <laughs> yeah. Like, what am I supposed to do? I want to so, go home and eat my breakfast. <laughs> I want bacon and eggs. It's all I want in this world. Which is true. That's how I feel. I love bacon and eggs. When too. you make bacon. Yeah. Do you uh do you get the cost? Do you have a Costco out there? Is Costco a thing? Yes, we have do a Costco. You, I don't know. I don't. I mean, you're barely on the internet. Uh, do we have you... Sam. Oh. <laughs> we have Sam's Club right down the road too. So I'm sorry, I don't. Their pizza is gross. Their pizza is good. The one in here. Incorrect. Uh, okay. Costco pizza is better. Yes, but Sam's Club have has so many more flavors. Or like oh. variety of pizza. We don't have a Sam's Club membership. We just have friends who do. And so like occasionally we will ask them to get pizzas. That's a pretty sad thing you just said. Um the uh <laughs> I feel like Sam's Club membership is more like a like a sentence. <laughs> you oh, have to go to like, Sam's Club. <laughs> uh anyway, what were we talking about? You're we talking about pizza. Why were we talking about pizza? I don't know. Costco. Costco. Do you have a Costco out there? And I said, yes. I don't remember why we I do. Really brought it up. I don't either. Oh, no. And we can't rewind this. Hmm. <laughs> 
Well, listener, we're going to stop. We're done. <laughs> we're Listen, done. Read the next two chapters. Send us an email or don't. <laughs> Uh, if you wanted so, to send us an email, you could send it to hobbitforming at gmail.com. You can also comment on our YouTube videos. Uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the things kids say these days. Uh, so we're we're reading chapters 16 and 17 for sure. next, next week. That sounds right. Perfect. And then 18 and 19 will be our last our last discussions on this book. It. We're almost done. I can. I can. <laughs> Keep reading it, yes. <laughs> yep. Because it's uh, real. <laughs> I've been so done for so long. Um, <laughs> Basically right. since uh, October when we started, but you know, <laughs> just kidding. I have enjoyed myself. I. It's a like good I book. Said, I purchased the next book on Audible. Right. So. We can talk off air about whether or not you want to continue yes. this little experiment, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the book and like I wanting am. to see where it goes. So, yep. so good. Perfect. Oh man, I I, the, I see a lot of reels and different things it, memes because I, I I follow book people on the internet. Yeah, uh, and it's like books that you wish you could read again for the first time. And I there's several, but on the list every time, Lord of the Rings. Hmm. Oh, I wish I could go back and read it again. Uh, it's just so good, and every time yeah. I read it, it's just I, I enjoy it so much. So, yeah. Anyway. Well, it's good. Jason, good morning. Good morning.